Hello and welcome to this beginner friendly follow along routine for side splits. Flexibility is a skill and like other skills, it's progressive. Okay. You start at the foundations and you progress to the harder variations. The foundation for flexibility training is learning to relax in positions. And we learn to relax by training our nervous system that it is safe to be in these positions. When your body feels safe, it allows you to relax and that allows you to get deeper into these stretches. So today's routine is all about teaching you ways to really help you get into deeper ranges of motion, train your nervous system that it's safe, build strength in those positions. And this will form a foundation for more advanced flexibility training that you may want to do later on. We're going to begin this flexibility routine with some breathing. So find a position that is nice and comfortable for you. And let's just start by taking some nice deep breaths. So I like to lie on my back, but lie in any position that feels really good for you. So place your hands on your stomach. And then as you take a nice deep inhale, see if you can feel your hands rise. And then as you exhale, you can see them fall, feel them fall. And just take these nice deep breaths. And this is really helping prepare us into a state of relaxation, which is really going to help us when we move into our stretches. We're going to come up onto our hands and knees. So we're going to place our hands under our shoulders, knees under our hips, and we're going to tuck our toes under. And we're just going to gently rock back and forward. And this is just starting to warm up our hips a little bit. As we're sitting back, if you feel tight, you can hang out here for a little bit, take a couple of deep breaths, and then start moving back and forward again. And again, this is just a nice gentle movement, which is helping um, helping us to relax and letting our nervous system know that, you know, it can relax a little bit and we don't need as much tension as we might be holding in our hips. Movements that feel good are really great to do as a nice warm up, just to prepare yourself for your flexibility work. So making some nice big circles. Now, if these movements don't feel good, if you're moving into areas where you're feeling any pain, you're feeling um, more than slight discomfort in any of these positions, then you want to back off, make those movements smaller, make them feel good. Okay. This is really about feel good movements and go in the other direction and explore. If you find that in some of these positions, your hips are cracking and popping, that's absolutely normal, absolutely fine. Um, as long as there's no pain, you can keep doing that. And you'll find the more you do it, uh, the more these little clicks and pops go away. We're going to move into um, another one of my favorite warm ups, uh, which is 1990 through Sharon Stone maneuver. So for this one, we start in this 1990 position. So for this one, we have our front leg at 90 degrees and our back leg at 90 degrees. And this is not an easy position to get into. So you might find you have to kind of lean over to the side a little bit, and that's perfectly fine. Um, if you can sit all the way up, great. But you want to be where, like, you don't want to be slumped like this. We're going for positions of comfort. Okay. You're going to hear me say this a lot in this. We want to find, we want to find positions where we feel comfortable, where we're able to relax. So this is our 1990 position, sitting up as much as you can. And then we're just going to begin by folding, hinging at your hips. So folding forward, 
coming back up. And this is where we go through our Sharon Stone. We're going to use our hands on the floor to start. So you're going to place your other hand on the floor. You're going to try and keep this knee down as you open up. Try and keep that, keep, keep, keep that knee down as you bring the other knee down. Come as open as you can. And then this knee comes down, it's pinning to the floor. And then you bring this leg across. And now you're in a 90-90 on the other side, sitting up as much as you can, hinging at the hips to come forward. Get that nice stretch on the outside of your hip. Back up and over to the side. And again, remember, we're trying to keep this knee pinned to the floor as we open up. The other side, coming forward. Now these movements, should feel challenging, but they should feel good. Okay, so none of this should feel painful. If it's feeling that way, you can make these movements less intense. Okay, so you don't need to try quite so hard to push this down. You can lean back a little more. And if this is feeling really good, you can even make it more challenging by holding yourself up without your hands on the floor. Okay, and this just gets you into a more challenging position. It's a little harder now to actively pull your legs open. And then we come to the other side and forward. I'm just gonna do a few more of these. This is one of those movements that I try to do daily because afterwards my hips just feel extra good. You can always put your hands on the floor if you need to. Okay, so we're going to look at some exercises now for our middle split. Now with the middle split, this is basically you're getting your legs out as wide as you can to the side. Um, and so there's a couple of things we really want to be able to do with our hips in order to do this. One. We want to be able to take our legs really wide and we're going to look at that one second. The first one is, is what can really limit us is internal rotation of our hips. So our ability to internally rotate our hips. So what we're going to look at is a little exercise which is going to help get that movement um, happening in your hips. So for this one, you're going to sit in a chair. You're going to grab a yoga block. We're going to place the yoga block between your knees. And what you're going to do is you're going to try and squish the yoga block. So I'm squeezing my legs together to squish that yoga block. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate one leg at a time. So I'm gonna lift my right foot out to the side and I can feel as I'm doing that, that that rotation is coming from rotation of my leg in the hip joint. So it's not kind of a torquing of the knee, it's this rotation all the way up into here and I'm feeling that right here um, on the side of my leg. So. Getting that rotation, I'm just going to hold that for about 20 seconds. Now, hip internal rotation is something that I struggle with, so you might be able to get further than I can. Um, we'll go to the other side. You can see this one is uh, a little more challenged than the other side. It's always nice to have little things to work on. And we hold that for 20 seconds. And you'll really feel that up here as you work in that internal rotation. We'll go one more each side, getting that rotation. You really, the more you can feel that movement deep in the hip joint, um, the better awareness you have of your hip and the better your hip's gonna start to function. So really just try and become aware, tune in as you're doing these exercises. And last one on the other side. Lifting that out to the side. Ooh. And what we're starting to do here with this uh, is just starting to restore that hip internal rotation um, into our hips. Fantastic. Let's move on to our um, frog stretch. So now we're going to work on getting our legs apart. I'm going to do this with the frog stretch. So. There's a couple of really key points with the frog stretch. We're going to take our knees out to the side, and you want to think about the line, knees, butt, knee, to be a nice straight line. So as I 
bring my knees out to the side. I wanna, don't wanna be, have my hips sitting too far back or too far forward. I wanna have that nice straight line across. The other thing I wanna think about is rotating my hips so that my butt is sticking out. So I get that anterior tilt of my pelvis. So that rotation really helps us uh, get into the muscles that we wanna stretch for this middle split. So we try and keep that rotation of the pelvis the entire time. Now you can come up here with your hands on the floor, you can come down to your elbows. Up here should give a little more weight to press you down. Um, so this one should feel a little, a little less intense. Now, a couple of things that can really help in this position. Um, it can really help you to relax. if You place cushions under your legs. So if you stuff some cushions under here, it can just help you feel a little more safe, a little more comfortable, and then you find you can relax a little better. So a really good idea is to fill in the gaps when you're doing these stretches um, and just feel really comfortable in these positions. So the first thing we're doing is just holding the position and we've been holding it for quite a while now. So we take some nice deep breaths. Now I said at the beginning, flexibility training is a skill. And part of that skill is learning to relax your tissues while you're in stretches. So I feel some tension up here. I wanna relax that. I wanna let go of some of that tension so that I can sink a little deeper into the stretch. So as I inhale, I feel this tension here, and then I try and feel that it's letting go a little bit. So it's kind of like you're contracting your bicep as much as you can, and then you relax it, okay? So one really good way we can do that is the same idea. We contract and then we relax. So how do we contract these tissues here that we're trying to stretch? What we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze our knees together. So it's almost as if I'm trying to pull myself up by contracting in here. So in this position, you're gonna pull your knees together, press your knees into the floor, feel these muscles here working really hard. Okay, and we're just going maybe about 50% here. We'll do that for about 10 seconds, nine, 10. Now, when we relax, I want you to really focus on, okay, these are the muscles that are contracting, and I kind of relax those muscles. And you'll find that maybe you can relax them a little more than you were before, and maybe your knees can move a little further out. Or if you have some cushions underneath, maybe you can sink deeper into the cushions or even pull a cushion out underneath. So we do a 10 second contraction and then we're just gonna sink a little bit deeper into the stretch. Taking some nice deep breaths. And we'll go one more round. So we're gonna squeeze our knees together again. And the more you do this, you know, once you become uh, a little more comfortable with the stretch, you can ramp this up a little higher. So you can start low, start at about 20% of, of intensity, build it up until you're squeezing your legs together as hard as you can. But you wanna start really gentle and build this up. Um, see, my legs are starting to shake nice, so I'm gonna slowly relax, really feel where I was feeling contract, and relax that same area and see if I can move out a little more. I'm just gonna hold for a few more seconds to finish off here. And again, remember you can come down onto your elbows if that feels better. And the key thing is we're always thinking about that little bit of anterior tilt of the pelvis. Okay, so that's, you don't wanna tuck your butt under, you wanna be sticking your butt out a little bit. Really get, um, really get that middle split stretch. And when you're ready to come out, you wanna move slowly. So you can either um, come forward onto the floor, which is one really nice way, bring your legs together and come up. And you wanna make sure you walk around, move your hips, maybe even rock back and forward a few times after doing that. Um, it's a pretty intense stretch, um, but start nice and gentle and uh, Try to do it a couple of times a week and you're gonna see your middle split progress really improve. So that's our little routine for middle splits. Remember the key points of this video are do things that feel good, okay? Because that's gonna train your nervous system 
to help you get back deeper into those stretches. Um, find positions of mild discomfort, but never pain. Okay. So we want to find positions, um, that are stretching us, uh, but we're not, we're not in any, any pain in those positions. Um, use the contract relax technique, um, to help you relax those tissues and sink a little deeper into the stretch. So I hope you enjoyed that routine. If you like this video, um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I post videos every week on all things mobility, handstands, and body weight strength.